Good morning everybody and happy Friday. I hope you have adapted well to your first week of school from home. Uh, from checking on Seesaw I think you actually have because you've been doing lots of work and being really really careful about your work and showing a lot of thought in your work so I've been really pleased about that. I'm just going to let you know a little bit about what Roscoe and I have been looking at on Seesaw. So in terms of our stories and again if I mention somebody's name here it doesn't mean they didn't send me other stuff as well. It's just I can't mention everybody's name for every single bit of work. I'm sure you understand that. But in terms of our story writing, I've been really thrilled to see some excellent stories coming in. So I and Zoe, I know you were working on one together and had a really interesting moral at the end of it. So I really enjoyed reading that. Arian is uh, finishing off his story today and I can't wait to see that. Clara Rose, you had a really interesting story. You'd kind of I suppose a, a kind of a mean character and I'm waiting to see what happens with him and that's some really interesting so far. Uh, Ollie's continuing on with his story about the um, McDonald's foods escaping and um, yeah really great stuff. In other English work I've seen great reading in from Orla and Yash and Ruby uh, paying lots of attention to what you're supposed to be doing, answering with full sentences that's exactly what I want to see, so I've been really pleased with that. In history, Ayala has finished some facts about the famine. That was great work, Ayala. And so has Hannah and Nusrat. And Nusrat actually told us a little bit about a link between the famine and another country. And there's going to be a little bit more about that that you'll learn next week. It's going to be in a video I'm going to upload next week, so keep your eye out for that. Great work to you guys. Um, you've seen some of our art already. Anthony has shared a diorama this morning that I will put on Seesaw for the rest of you to see later that he uh, made with his brother Philip. Absolutely excellent. I think you'll all be very impressed. Um, great work in as always in Guelga. Lots of people concentrating really hard. I just saw some work from Alva this morning and I have a feeling a lot of you have been doing the Kahoot over the week so I can't wait to see what the results of that are. Um, again, some really consistent work in maths with people being very careful and looking at, you know, adding carefully, remembering to include their meters, their units of measurement. Remember, if you don't include that, we don't know what you're talking about. Okay, 14, 14 what? 14 apples, 14 dogs, 14 oranges. You have to write 14 meters or centimeters or millimeters. So some people I've noticed who've been very consistent with that in the last day or two have been Keen and Fia. Great work, Keen and Fia. Um, for our PE challenge, I have seen a few um, uh, of the long jump um, tasks. Alva and Elijah posted a very funny video about that today. And another pair of siblings who've been working on that have been Cole and his brother Saul. And they showed, uh, sent me some photos and I thought it was quite interesting, Cole, that you had a mat that had like horizontal lines. So you almost used those for doing your measurements. So that was great, a really clever idea. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about is this collaborative story that we are going to be working on next week. Like we said before, not everybody has to do that. There will be a different writing task for you to do next week if you decide not to do this one. Today is Friday. If you don't sign up for the collaborative writing task today, you won't be taking part in it next week because I'm going to be putting up the access codes on Seesaw today. Now you won't see them today. If you picked that you were going to write on Monday, you'll see it on Monday. If you pick that you were going to write on Tuesday, you'll see it on Tuesday and so on. But I am going to be putting those up today. So if you haven't said you want to do it by today, that's the last chance. I have reminded you about this a few times. So please next week, don't ask your parents to email me and say they want to do it. Because if you didn't put it in by today, I'm just going to be saying that to your parents. Well, they can't because the codes and all that are being put up today. So that's an important bit. If you still want to do it, there's still time, but you have to do it today. If you pick a Monday, it will appear on your seesaw on Monday. If you pick a Tuesday, it'll be there on Tuesday. If you pick a Wednesday, it will be there on Wednesday. Now, we were going to have a second vote today and actually I have a little change of plan about that. And the reason for that is in your first vote, you chose that there would be three characters. And the reason for the second vote is that I thought about 10 or 12 of you would send me in a character profile and then we'd have to choose between them. 
But as it happens, I got five character profiles in. Now, we could still do a vote, but I'm just conscious that if it's only five character profiles and we're picking three, then it's only two people. It's only a very small number of the people who gave me profiles whose characters aren't going to be used. And I think after all the work they put in, I'm not sure that would be fair. So even though you voted for three characters, I'm making a teacher decision here to say we're actually going to use all five of the characters that were sent in because I don't want it only to be a small number of people left out. So I received character profiles from Elijah, Juliana, Riley, Clara Rose and Cole. And we're going to be using all of their characters in our story next week. So that's going to be really interesting to see. The other thing we were going to have a little vote about today was what dilemma is there going to be in the story? But actually, only one person suggested a dilemma to me. So we don't need to have a vote. We're going to be using that dilemma. OK, so that's a bit of an update on the story. Now, very final thing that Roscoe and I need to do before we say goodbye to you for the week is to say who won Student of the Week and Gwael Gornishachna. So I have been... It's a little bit different this week because usually our Student of the Week focus is something we're working on in school. And, you know, things about looking after each other and being good to each other. And there's a little bit less opportunity to do that. Although I have noticed some of you have been very kind to each other in the comments you have put on the dioramas. So that has been lovely. But what I'm going to do while we're doing remote school, I am going to pick my student of the week and my Gwael Gornishachna based on people putting work on Seesaw. That's not going to be based on who put on the most. It's going to be based on who is really being careful with their work, who's showing that they have really listened to what I've asked. So my student of the week today, and I'm going to send this certificate to your parents later. My student of the week for this week for great work appearing on Seesaw is Riley. Riley, you have been doing a huge amount of work this week. And I know it hasn't been easy because you've been in a different country while this has been happening. So excellent work for you. And I'm really delighted to give you student of the week. And our Gwerborn is Shachna, somebody who's been posting lots of Irish and really paying attention. Also fourth class, also a girl, it's Fia. So congratulations to Fia. Well done. And I will see you all on Monday. Bye for now and bye from Roscoe.